All right. Order. Otacon 1990. Respect as an MG Metal Gear Solid playing. We'll go first. Single land hand is not going to cut it. All land hand with literally no black mana or green mana. I'm going to risk this. I'm going to get rid of this red. So let's just start with a potential white source because we could use Amelia here. They could just go turn one forward season and uh, we'll be in trouble. Oh, we have a phoenix. Good old phoenix. So let's do this and what we'll do is we'll pass back. I actually am tempted just to use Is It Charm to counter something unless they go for a turn two ledger shredder. Alright, we get a black here. So let's go for a crime sessions. We'll grab environmental science just for the sake of things here. They go for consider. So we still need green here. So it might be best to go play a land, then environmental science, then hold up is it charm. Particularly if they go for a big play with a uh, yeah. Right. So that's environmental. Science. See if they want to counter this. Dude, I'm okay with that. I'll just play this. Like I said before, we're actually okay with that. Okay. Goes to our turn. We do find what we're after here. So let's just shock this in and play an Amelia. Now, they'll opt. I'm going to aim to counter a treasure cruise. I'll force them to use a lot of spells on that treasure cruise if I can. That would be the ideal play here. Light of hand. Man, they are struggling for that. Wow, we are also struggling. We apparently are drawing all of our lands. I'm guessing that we're just going to have to go back on this. They're going for a big is it charm. Draw three here. There's a cruise. Let's uh, counter unless you pay two. We've got our own spell pierce. So you're going to pay two? They do pay two to draw the three, which makes sense. But now, thankfully, they can't chain a spell this turn, hopefully. Oh, wait, I forgot. They're fucking Phoenix, of course they can. Ugh. This is where we get to the point where, as I've said many times before, I am not a fan of the Phoenix current situation. I said before, like, I didn't release it. In fact, I'm probably going to release it for fun. Like, no word of a lie. I had a friend who plays Phoenix and he like watches the videos for fun with us and he was like dude you gotta lay off us Phoenix players it's a hard deck to pilot and I was like what the F are you on literally I went and I might even I can't don't know if I can actually show it but I a hundred percent went into um, ranked having paid for life. I 100% went into ranked and I made, no joke, a Phoenix budget deck because I had the Mythics because I, I crafted so much Ravnica back in the day that and I just threw it out. I was like, okay, 
oh, it's a hard deck, let's try this. And literally, I went up against Rakdos Vampires, or Rakdos Midrange, I think it was game one. And literally, my opponent backed the F out of it. Uh, literally got bored and said, peace, I'm out. Because I was playing a suboptimal build and it was still crushing it. And he was like, yeah, but that doesn't happen all the time. I'm like, yeah, it does, dude. Don't, don't effing lie about it, dude. Your, your whole deck is <laughs> easy mode crap. Oh, he had all four of them. How many phoenixes did he mill? Did he really only mill one phoenix here? I'm okay with that. I can live with one phoenix. I don't have a way to gain life, which is the problem here. So, let's just go Amelia. Make you sack a creature. Let's grab this and play this tapped. Literally have like 10 cards left in their library. Hopefully if they go to kill Amelia, they have to pay the ward on it. So, you know, free more life, make it easier. Are they literally just gonna like treasure cruise them? They are literally down to nine cards in hand here, and they are going to draw their entire... If I lose to, like, a Fassus Oracle effect here, I'm just gonna... They're down to four cards in library. Throwing away two Phoenixes, yep. Play a Leisure Shredder, yeah. I just showed us not maze though. Plays another land. Plays a prankster. Free is it Phoenix has come back because this is the reality of this deck. And we go down to six and we lose the game because we're not allowed to draw cards. Yeah, what a surprise. Now we play the uh, pre Splinter Twin Ban modern game where we bring in our sideboard and then we mulligan. We don't find our sideboard and then we have to concede because yay! No, I don't think I'm being too harsh. This is basically what we play now. We literally play the can we find the actually world souls world souls can stay in it's technically a ramp if we hit it on turn three so many things there could have helped us but yeah now we've just got to see if we find it then we still lose to the sideboard cards because they get to bring in those drakes let's just play the ha ha game and just play this yeah, we're going to lose now because we're not going to draw lands. Or do they have one mana destroy artifact thing? Because, you know, the sideboard cards this deck has just give it everything it wants. Yeah, we didn't draw lands, so that's the game. If No, that's literally it. Like, Phoenix is a, a wash match, dude. It is literally... You throw away game one. If you don't find your sideboards with a perfect opening hand, give up game two and save time. Literally, I wouldn't even bother playing it. No matter what the matchup is. Like, it's the current build of Phoenix is just too damn strong. Something needs to go from it. And I've said before, 
I think Lightning Axe, if they're not going to do the we want Pioneer to be unique and play the Delph spell, which should not be in the format, then they've got to get rid of Lightning Axe. They've got to make it harder, like you saw there, without them having like stuff to burn on our field and throw away Lightning Axe, they struggle to get the Phoenix in the graveyard. Either that, or they need to give us a land that literally does like um, a Graftigger's Cage, which will be hilarious, but it won't happen.